Well, as the dads come out to help with the grid for the Minimoto rookie class featuring riders as young as six years of age, while the grid positions are on screen, here are a few comments from the riders in P2 and P3 after qualifying. Emilio, P2 in qualifying. Has it been a good weekend for you so far? Yeah, I enjoyed it. And Teesside, have you been here before? What do you think of the circuit? It's a really good circuit and I've had a few crashes on it. From P2, what are you hoping for from the weekend? What would be a good result for you this weekend? Just some podiums. Have you been to Teesside before and how would you describe the track? Um, I've never been here before and it's a really good track. I've had a few crashes sure why crashing seems to be a positive thing for the young kids but anyway we're on the way and running this is the minimoto rookie class for riders as young as six years of age it is nelly newth on pole she didn't want to do an interview but she can ride really quickly jake well there's plenty of time to get good at talking to television journalists but being fast on the bike that's what really counts so nelly newth out in first position having taken an early lead Certainly got the confidence with the bike. A big launch up the inside for third position. Now that looks to me like Pereira and Dilks getting very close to each other. But out in front, Nelly Newth has got the confidence to sail through South Bank with plenty of time on her hands. And she is doing a great job here in front of Saxelby, who is just keeping it nice and handy. Having started P3, a good launch from Reed Saxelby, so already trying to go for the lead. But you've got to remember, on these mini motos, you've got much thinner tyres, much shorter wheelbase. Hitting those wet patches is going to be much tougher for these youngsters to control. They've just got to be patient when they're out there battling away for the victory. New, Saxelby, Tommy Keats has actually come through with that huge Banzai move on Pereira to get into third position. Then Dilks, Stiles, Abasic and Randy Carter. Five brake horsepower, these bikes, in case you're wondering. These kids as young as six, they will do something like 40 mile an hour I would suspect on a big straight so they're pretty quick these bikes for six-year-olds yeah five horsepower doesn't sound much but when your bike weighs about three bags of sugar it is absolutely ridiculous how quick these things can pedal brilliant stuff Nelly New just hanging on here from Reed Saxoby half a second between them and they pulled well clear of Keats and Pereira so Emilio Pereira now trying to get back that third position from Tommy Keats in through the hairpins well planted, Nelly Newth is just keeping this so smooth as she runs out of each hairpin and that's the thing, on these mini motos balance is so difficult to achieve when you're on the limit, if you're just casual about it then balance is no problem, but when you're pushing that bike and stretching what it can do, getting the balance right is such a fine art and Newth just looks so planted, so smooth through these apexes. Yeah, fastest lap as well for Nelly Newth and I can tell you round one, race one of the season, her dad is going to have his heart in his mouth at the moment. She's got a decent lead. He knows it. And she's stretching her legs here, getting away. He's just hoping, don't fall off. Yeah. Don't fall off. Well, half a second to seven tenths of a second quicker per lap than any of the other riders around her. This is a perfect way to start the season. Meanwhile, there's some good battles further back as Tommy Keats has pulled clear of Pereira, but Austin Dilks is trying to move further forward. So this could get interesting. Side by side for third, Tommy Keats and Emilio Pereira. And that's Pereira chopping across on Tommy Keats and trying to go right round the outside. Oh, they've clattered into each other. And Tommy Keats is the one who goes down. So unfortunate for Tommy Keats. It's just a racing incident between the two riders there. Just the slightest love tap of fairings and it just unsettles the bike completely. Styles, by the way, managed to get through on Dilks in the same moment. We were so busy watching Keats and Pereira. Look at Pereira round the outside. He's got acceleration. Keats doesn't realize, down he goes and out of this race. But now we know he's gonna be a real threat for race two. Battles all the way down this field. We've got Henry Cooper from Strood in Gloucestershire trying to take on Maxwell Keats. And we're seeing Finley Stiles working his way up towards P4 thanks to the incident earlier on between Pereira and Keats. He was the real beneficiary, but Austin Dilts, the young man from Mansfield, still there, having a very tough race of it for P5. Abazic and Keats are having a great race for sixth position. Then comes Cooper, then Randy Carter, then Charlie Bunn. The battle for the lead is actually taking a bit of a turn of events here because Reed Saxelby has dropped behind Emilio Pereira a bit further round the lap. We've now got a duel between Abazic and Max Keats. 
who are battling away for P6. So it's all starting to take shape in the latter stages of this race. Pereira now P2 ahead of Saxelby, and it could be Keats going for P6 here on Avazic, because it's getting very heated between these two riders. It just shows you, you've got to keep the pace up all the way through. Look at Nelly New, who has just charged away now from Pereira and Saxelby. Here they come, running in second and third. So Pereira has managed to get the better of Saxelby just by stamina. He's just been able to keep himself in that hunt, getting hungry uh, hungry over the course of the race. And that's going to be Keats on the inside of Avazic. He's got him. So that's very well committed through Southbank. That's a hard move to make. And as they come through the hairpins, that is Max Keats now in front of Joey Avazic as they duel away for P6. Great race craft between these two. Avazic doesn't look particularly phased by the move. If anything, he looks more motivated to take it back again from Max Keats. So he's going to swarm around through the D. Oh, and that's Randy Carter. That's so unfortunate. The worst timing ever on the final lap to get the job done, though. Up front, it is Nelly New. She takes the victory at an absolute canter to Emilio Pereira in second position. Reed Saxoby coming home in third place, having just put the lap on Freddie Taylor. But it's a fabulous win out front by Nelly New. Nearly seven seconds clear of Emilio Pereira, who did a great job there to catch and hustle Reed Saxoby, who storms through for a very solid podium. Then Finley Styles from Austin Dilks, Max Keats and Joey Avazic. Then Henry Cooper, Charlie Bunn and Freddie Taylor to round out the top ten.